we're back. This is Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org, and I'm here with my co-host Jeff Kelly, who is the leading big data analyst in the business. And we are talking about the big data, data science movement. Um, Hal Varian said a couple years ago that you know the, the, the statisticians, the math geeks, Jeff, are going to be the, the hot new job in the coming mm -hmm. decade, and that, that was prescient. That seems to be coming true. This is the Data Science Spotlight, uh, sponsored by EMC Greenplum Division. Now, EMC has a Data Science Summit as an adjunct to this show. The right. first year was last year, it was uh, very successful. A lot of good content, a lot of good data science content, very thought leading and, uh, and thought provoking. So, Jeff, we're gonna talk about data science, we're going to talk about the market for big data. Mm -hmm. um, I want to uh, start by just setting up uh, the discussion that we're going to have. Mark sure. Hopkins has a few slides that we're going to go through, and uh, so why don't you kick it off. Great. Kind of set the stage here to talk about the big data market. Uh, as you know, we've done some uh, pretty extensive research in this area, and we, we size the market and uh, kind of forecast going out about five years. Yeah, so we're showing that here. It's uh, what I like to call an S-curve. Some people call it an O-guide curve. Mm -hmm. and, uh, basically showing that the market today is about $5 billion. It's grown to over $50 billion by 2017. Right, so that's some significant growth, and you'll see uh, you know, in the next couple of years is a real spike in growth. Uh, and that's for, you know, for very good reasons. I mean, the big data really cuts across uh, vertical industries and uh, use cases. So th the idea that uh, you know, it's, the, the big data is going to be uh, adopted by all types of industries, and the key really is uh, you need data scientists. You need a new breed of analytic professional to really take advantage of that data. I mean, there's the infrastructure la uh, layer, where we're talking about Hadoop and the, uh, the data, new databases we're seeing uh, hit the market, like Greenplum, like Verticus and other, and then from there, you've got to actually take the analytics, uh, take the data, and perform analytics on it. So that's where this new breed of uh, professional data scientists fits in. Yeah. So if we go to the next slide, we talk about data science. Um, data scientists. One of the big themes of this event is, is tra you know, it's transformation. It's transform IT business and yourself. And right. one of the vectors for self as an option for people is data science. EMC's put a lot of emphasis on training for data science, and they've got a data science uh, coursework mm -hmm. you can go through. Actually, you were going to go through it, but you had to, uh, a travel. Uh, Did conflict. still still hoping to go through that still at some point soon. So, so talk a little bit about what a data scientist is. You interviewed a couple today. Sure did. We've had Hillary Mason on before from mm -hmm. uh, from Bitly. Um, talk about data scientists. What are, what, are they, what are they all about? Well, data scientists are all about answering questions uh, based on data and essentially going where the data takes them. Um, kind of if you compare that to the traditional world of BI, where uh, BI and data warehousing professionals might spend months. Uh, trying talking to the business, trying to understand what, what questions they want answered, and then they'll model a warehouse, uh, load a warehouse to uh, basically answer those questions. A data scientist kind of takes the opposite approach. They don't know the questions they're going to ask, they don't know what they're looking for. They are explorers, really. And uh, that's kind of um, one of the key skills, of course, is being, it being um, willing to experiment with data, take it wherever uh, it, it brings you. So, the key, though, is that there's a lot of new technologies coming on board that make big data possible, and they're not always the easiest to use. So, data scientists, uh, you know, they they really have to um, have a mix of skills. And if you'll see, uh, I think we've got the slide up now. Yeah, so let's do the Larry Ellison thing, since we have these fancy mics on. Next slide, please. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so, right, you know what I'm talking about, Mark? When he does that, it's beautiful, right? <laughs> Next slide. Okay, go ahead. All right. So, what now, are the skill sets? We got this. Um, it's a, 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 a mashup going on right. of skill sets. So talk about that. One. Well, there's a you know a few different uh, skill skill sets, skill areas. One of them, of course, technical. You've got to know how to use the tools. You've got to have a, a solid background in statistics and math, computer science. Uh, I mean that that's pretty much a prerequisite. Uh, but beyond that, data scientists really have to understand to be really successful. Have to understand. Have to have some level of domain knowledge. Understand the business issues. Uh, and under, understand a bit of uh, you know what the business is trying to achieve, what their priorities are. So that's uh, that's critically important. Um, so you've got the technical, the business skills, then communication. I mean, one of the key jobs of a data scientist: storytelling. You've got to come up with the insights, but then you've got to translate that into a story that the business can understand, and translate that to a to to workers who can actually take action based on your insights. 
Uh, and then from there, of course, we've talked about it a little bit, the personality. You've got to be inquisitive, persistent. Uh, you know, we've heard over and over again, you've got to be willing to fail, really, because in fact, m much of what data scientists do is, is, is fail. They ask a question, they don't get quite the right answer, but it leads to a new question. And it's a very iterative approach, and you've got to be willing to take that approach uh, and embrace it. Okay, so next slide, please, if you would, Mark. And so, so Jeff, talk about um, the skills gap. You're saying here, 140,000 to 190,000 more data, scient data scientists are needed. That's a McKinsey uh, data point. Uh, needed for what? And where is that? Globally? And give right. some context. Exactly. Uh, so the idea here is that you know we've got the tools. The tools are being developed. It's still an immature market, but it's developing rapidly. But once you've got the infrastructure, the plumbing in, you've got Hadoop in, you've got your uh, MPP database in, you're loading it up with data from all different sources, internal, a lot external. Um, great, so now you've got a good solid infrastructure. From there, what do you do? Well, you've got you've to do the analysis. And without data scientists, with that mix of skills we just talked about, uh, really you've invested in this platform that's got all this data in it, but you can't really do much with it. So that's really what we're talking about here. And I think you know, the question is, how do we fill that gap? Uh, you know, some people say, well, it's, it's all about training. Uh, might be about training current business intelligence professionals to kind of make that leap to data science. Uh, but I think it's, it's definitely that. It's also about creating tools that are easier to use that abstract away some of the complexity of, of, of data science to kind of lower the barrier of entry, uh, to make it easier to manipulate data and do the job of a data scientist without having to have the level of technical skills you need now. Um, but anyway, you slice it, there's huge opportunity for uh, anybody in this field uh, if, you, if you are a true data scientist, you've got a lot of opportunity uh, right now and you're in high demand. And if you're not, you, uh, you, gotta, you can go acquire the skills to become one because uh, <laughs> there's clearly more demand than supply. Absolutely. So on the next slide, uh, we talk about some of the rock stars. Uh, you know all these people? A little tongue in cheek, but uh, they really are. Uh, uh, you know, with the conferences we've been to, Strata and others, and Hadoop World, really the uh, the data scientists are, are, are mobbed at these conferences. So Jeremy so. Howard, uh, uh, Kaggle, we've yeah, had him on. Chief scientist Kaggle. Uh, Hillary Mason, Hillary Jeff Mason. Hammerbacher, Jeff who was arguably Facebook invented the modern day concept. Uh, well, he, and, and DJ Patel uh, also uh, helped kind of co-invent the term data science, data scientists. Uh, in the middle there is Hadley Wickham, who's a, a researcher at the, uh, a university researcher who's done a lot in the space with R uh, analytics and is now starting to uh, do some work in the big data space. So yeah, that's there's a lot of a uh, lot of opportunity. Um, you know, these guys are really the new rock stars when, uh, in the industry, and uh, you know they're they're going to be in high demand for a long time. So I'm interested to see uh, the EMC Data Scientist Summit, uh, EMC Greenplum Data Scientist Summit. Uh, you weren't there last year, I don't believe. No, I wasn't. Um, I mean, you're going to attend this year. I attended last year. It was very good. You know, extremely good content. Very high quality. Um, you know, kind of O'Reilly like. I mm -hmm. thought, you know, to put a good program together. Um, I would imagine Data Science Summit is going to attract a lot of data scientists. I would think so, and, so, and would be data scientists. Right, so the question is, do you think that the traditional BI, DW guys will actually wander over there, or are they still a little fearful? I think there might be a little bit of, a little bit of fear there. Or is it, or is it com competition, I mean, or, or is this a bunch of nonsense? Well, I think ultimately, data science, big data analytics has to live side by side with business intelligence. The need for BI and looking back, doing kind of historical analysis to see why something happened, that's still needed and that's and that's not going away. Reports that the, the CEO, CEO wants his, on his desk every morning answering specific questions, that's not going away. So, you know, some BI professionals may view it as a bit of a threat, but I don't think it, you don't need to view it that way. Um, you know, whether BI pros want to make that move to data scientists, uh, I think it can be done. We've talked a lot with uh, Bill Schmarzo uh, and EMC Consulting about that and, and some, of the, uh, some of his thoughts on how, how BI pros can kind of make that leap. Um, but it is a different mindset. I mean, it's very much uh, you know, exploratory mindset versus uh, dealing with a structured, well-known data set, answering questions well, that you've known well in advance, what the answers are, or what the answers you want to, you want to uh, get to are. So it's a very different mindset. So it's not simply adding a few skills around technology or tools, it's, it's really about, you've got to change your mindset. So, let's say I want to get started in this business. I'm somebody really, you know, I, I believe all this big data hype. I think it's, it's real. I, in my gut, it's telling me, hey, there's something here. If I can figure out a way to package this stuff, mm -hmm. add new value, how do I get started? 
Well, that's a great question, and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna be talking with some data scientists uh, in the next segment about just that question. Um, you know, kind of how they got got started in the business and and how uh, advice they might have for others looking to make that leap from uh, BI professional or or could be even a line of business worker who might, uh, you know, every every uh, kind of marketing department has one one uh, member who's just you know just a whiz with analytics and. Excel, and sometimes it might even be that person who makes a good data scientist. Doesn't necessarily have the real technical background, but uh, you, you, know, you can learn some of those things. So there's, there's many different paths, as far as I can tell, to uh, kind of reach that data scientist. So this is the Data Scientist Summit. Uh, we're, we're, we're discussing data science, what it is, why it's important, what kind of skill sets you need uh, to really become a data scientist, and, and it really is a very wide definition. I mean, if you need 140 mm -hmm. to 190,000 people there's that much of a skills gap. Um, there's a real opportunity for people who are mathematically inclined, who can do some, some development work, who love to munge up data. Mm -hmm. um, so it's all part of this whole transformation theme. Uh, EMC's you know, leading that uh, uh, thought leadership. So we'll be following it here. Um, Jeff, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE and setting up this spotlight. Keep it right there, because we're going to bring on some data scientists. We're going to talk more about how to get started, what kind of skill sets are required, what kind of packaging of information and data they're doing that our surveys show that that's the number one biggest challenge that people have is how to actually package and monetize that information to get value out of it. So we're going to talk to some people who are practitioners in data science who are actually doing that. And uh, so keep it right there. SiliconANGLE.TV's continuous coverage live at EMC World 2012. Be right back.